Hello, my name is Martin Makeup, and I am the founder of uh, Vint.ee, which is uh, Estonian mind sports website. Uh, and today we are going to take a look at the ongoing Komoku tournament, uh, which is held uh, as one e event in uh, Mind Sports Olympiad. And I have Martin Hövemägi here also. Uh, maybe you can tell a little bit about yourself. Hello from me. Uh, I am uh, Martin Hövemägi. Maybe some of you know me from uh, Mindsport Ol Olympiad, who, uh, where I have, I have competed some years. Uh, and today we are yeah, uh, going to analyze Komoku, that's my, one of my main games. Uh, what are your achievements in uh, Komoku? Uh, in Komoku I am uh, many time uh, world champion among uh, youth uh, until eight, 18 year uh, old players and uh, under, under 25 and also uh, I have uh, won some uh, Blitz World Championships. Okay, nice. So I guess we will take uh, a look uh, at some uh, ongoing games, uh, maybe not ongoing, but maybe some uh, games which have uh, finished already. But uh, I will take a moment and introduce the Estonian Mind Sports website to you, uh, whoever is watching right now. Uh, this site was created uh, 13 years ago. Uh, we started with uh, simple uh, or board games like uh, chess and checkers. Komoku was actually the third game, I guess, we, we implemented. And it has uh, evolved uh, in time. And uh, this week uh, is actually the, the highlight of the whole 13 year um, cycle because um, we have many international tournaments uh, ongoing this week in uh, in Vintoti. Uh, it started with the uh, European uh, Junior Championship in international checkers. There uh, are 20 tournaments. Uh, most of them uh, already have finished but uh, tomorrow is the final day. Um, then we had uh, uh, Rangeu Junior World Cup, which finished yesterday. Um, and today, uh, Komoku Junior World Cup started. So, uh, actually, we are in a phase of introducing uh, new uh, responsive uh, web design so actually the the main page is probably the the last one with an old design uh, we will switch it uh, next week we didn't want to confuse all all the people um, coming to vint uh, this week uh, so yep uh, next week it will look much better mobile friendly and and uh, all that kind of stuff but yes if you enter vint game room First of all, uh, we have this lobby here on the right side. Uh, we have, ah, I switched to English actually. We are supporting currently two languages, Estonian and English, but um, we will uh, soon uh, finish uh, all our translation framework. Uh, and then uh, when we have uh, translated all the phrases uh, into English, it should be quite simple to introduce new languages into Vint.t. Just uh, have to find uh, persons who, who are willing to translate it into uh, Russian or German or, or whatever language. Uh, so on the right side, uh, we have in total, we have 30 different games. Half of them uh, are uh, board games. Uh, like chess and five uh, different kinds of uh, draughts or checkers and Gomoku and Pente, also Renju, Lines of Action, Entropy, um, Stack 4D, Connect 4 are maybe simpler games. Um, but yes, uh, in this uh, 
Uh, MSO uh, event, we are actually hosting five tournaments. There was already Sudoku, today is Komoku, then we have Otello uh, tomorrow, and um, later in August uh, we have Entropy and uh, Giveaway uh, Checkers. I guess I will stream Giveaway Checkers uh, Definitely, because uh, once upon a time I even won the Estonian Championship in, in giveaway checker, so I know something about the game. Uh, don't know much about Komoku, that's why I invited Martin here. But okay, let's move on. Uh, so, board games, then some card games, uh, mostly Estonian specific, but also like poker is here. And under other games, uh, you can solve Sudokus. Uh, uh, this uh, room was uh, created with the help of my very good friend, Steve Wunk, who was the Sudoku World Champion in 2016. And the Sudoku has been pretty popular. We have over 2 million Sudokus solved and then the tournament system is pretty good. I guess that's why uh, MSO decided to to have the Sudoku tournament in, in our site. And then the section of tournaments. Currently, as I said, there is this ongoing um, uh, World Youth... Uh, actually, it should be Komoko Cup, right? Yes. Not Rinju Cup. <laughs> the description is wrong, but the game is uh, right. Uh, those are like three day tournaments, uh, three rounds every day. So the next round starts in uh, 600 minutes tomorrow morning at uh, 9.30 Estonian time. But let's uh, dig into Komoku specifics. Um, maybe some numbers, who is interested. As I said, it was the third game. So people have been playing Komoku here for uh, 12 years, I guess. Um, let me check. Uh, so totally already around half a million. If we include also the Renju and Pente, it's over half a million games played here. When was the first game? Let's see. Um, yep, 2007, a long time ago. And uh, the tournaments are uh, in Komoko uh, also pretty popular. Uh, 2000, yep, over. Aha, uh -huh, there's a bug. I can see different numbers here. But anyway, um, uh, there have been Komoko tournaments with uh, uh, around 200 participants. This is the event I'm organizing for, for Estonian school children uh, so that they can play online with each other. It's also called Mind Sports Olympiade, but um, it's like for Estonian schools. Okay, uh, I guess enough of introducing Vinta.de. Whoever is interested, uh, my username is Makeup here. So if you have any questions, uh, write me into my inbox uh, or, or contact me. And I'm glad to help you out if you are having trouble understanding what's what in Vinta.de. Uh, let me see, where is our tournament? Here. So, uh, I guess uh, today we have uh, six rounds of Komoku. Time control is six minutes plus ten seconds. Uh, we have 34 players. Uh, international uh, players also from all around the world, as I can see. We have USA, Estonia, of course, Norway, uh, Spain, Italy, and um, some of the players haven't filled their uh, profile yet. Uh, but yeah, uh, really 
good to see that people around the world have have found Vinto T and are participating in this uh, tournament. So, uh, Martin, uh, what should we do? Maybe we can take some of the played games and comment on them. Yeah, maybe maybe even start uh, again from the players that uh, who yes. I think are the most uh, uh, important to look. Uh, first of all, are the current uh, leader, Sultan Laszlo. Uh, he's a very strong player and he's a uh, uh, former uh, world champion. So definitely, uh, definitely a player who, uh, who would win this tournament and he's really good in uh, blitz tournaments. Then uh, second very good player who unfortunately has already lost two, two games is uh, this player over here, uh, Igor Jäger, one of the... Uh, strongest uh, Russian players. Uh, then there is uh, uh, Lukas Maxner from Poland, uh, very strong Polish player and uh, definitely uh, uh, could rise uh, in top three. And then there are uh, quite strong Estonians like uh, Kuno Kolk, uh, Georg Rometopkin, and uh, unfortunately uh, Timo Elu, who is not doing maybe uh, that well. Uh, but uh, maybe let's start from the games that uh, ha have been uh, played uh, between those players who I just uh, mentioned. Uh, I, I will give a little bit uh, background. Uh, it turned out that uh, many good players uh, already played against each other in the first rounds. Yes. And uh, that's because uh, Vinta T uh, rounding system is, is a typical Swiss uh, uh, system um, and the first round is paired according to your rating, uh, Vinto T Komoku rating. And as uh, some of the players have been already here um, getting uh, better rating, but the others were new, they were paired up in the first round. But I guess there's uh, nothing we can do about it. Okay, so first game what we are going to look is between uh, Soltan and uh, Lukas. Uh, so the first moves are quite uh, uh, usual for uh, Komoku players. Uh, three stones uh, across the board. Uh, they are very like um, aggressive and you really need to know the opening theory to play well. But if you are not uh, so uh, similar with the openings, you have a chance to put the fourth and fifth move in Komoku. And uh, this is what uh, uh, Lukas uh, chose to do. So he tried to uh, make uh, things easier for uh, uh, himself and uh, uh, maybe, maybe try to you know, uh, uh, surprise uh, his opponent that way. Uh, Sultan shows uh, the black moves and the first moves are quite uh, usual uh, mm, quite usual uh, uh, just trying to you know uh, uh, put your put your stones uh, uh, more in uh, outside of the board that uh, it would be easier to uh, attack Here we can see that white is uh, quite uh, close to the board and if uh, he doesn't have a uh, win over here then most likely uh, black is going to be better. And that is exactly what happened. Black managed to get the attack over here and in few moves uh, uh, White didn't have a defense because if uh, White puts here, then Black will put his move here. If White uh, closes uh, Black's fourth, then uh, Black will uh, put uh, four over here and three diagonally, so White can close uh, both uh, threats. Uh, that's why White chose to surrender. The second uh, interesting game was between again Sultan and uh, Igor uh, 
uh, this time Igor tried to surprise uh, Sultan but unfortunately for him Sultan know the theory and the opening is uh, winning for white and uh, Sultan knew it and uh, after this uh, the black even uh, didn't have a chance to play uh, game further so after eight move uh, Igor chose to surrender so basically uh, it was uh, white win after which move after, uh, after the fourth move because over here uh, if black put here then uh, white will play this uh, free away put it here and now black has uh, no way to attack so quite common way for black to attack is uh, to play this uh, free away uh, this diagonal free but in that case white will close uh, uh, here if black now tries to play another free to continue his attack uh, here or here then white will just play this four away then here is another four mm -hmm. so white will put here black has to close again and now white will uh, close uh, black's free and after that uh, white has uh, this attack over here what is uh, uh, not uh, defendable and uh, black knew it so he chose to you know surrender uh, early uh, another game what uh, was maybe quite interesting is uh, between uh, Lucas and uh, uh, Timo uh, this was quite you know uh, not so uh, the stones are not so across uh, across like across the board so it's maybe uh, uh, or most likely a little bit longer game than the others were so black managed to have uh, early attack but white defended quite nicely and the game went uh, uh, quite uh, Mm, quite how to say both both have its uh, chances if you see the the move that decided the result uh, you can maybe uh, say it out so that our viewers can uh, take a look at the board and then find the winning move themselves or, or the yeah okay so so the win was actually uh, actually uh, uh, after it, after this move okay uh, so white has no defense after uh, move uh, 43 yes why is that so uh, white right to uh, lay that this uh, here would be six stones mm -hmm. in, in gomoku you have to have exactly five yeah six it, is not winning yes uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, the threat is still here. That uh, if if you don't put it uh, here or here, then Black can just put it here uh, himself, and then he has uh, two fours. One is one, two, mm -hmm. three, and uh, four. So you need to close here, and the other is one, two, three, four, five. You need to close uh, here. So that's why Oliver put here. Mm -hmm. But uh, unfortunately for him, Black has still win because. Now, if uh, white closes uh, here, here, or here, the black next move is here, and uh, he makes two frees. One is here, and the other one is here. So okay. you can close uh, two frees in uh, mm -hmm. one move. That's why again uh, Timo chose to surrender, surrender early and uh, uh, end the game. Okay. Then. Uh, in the fifth round, maybe the most important game for the tournament was uh, uh, between uh, Sultan and Georg Romat. I actually haven't seen the game myself. Uh, let's see. So let's see how they played. So oh. Sultan uh, put again the opening he has played this tournament. It's the stones are. Uh, across the board so you really need to know your opening theory and otherwise uh, Georg most likely put the fourth and fifth move I would imagine yes 
now Sultan I think uh, I think he chose uh, black black yes and uh, girl put here but unfortunately for him I think it was already too strong for too strong for black and yes the game ended uh, quite quite quick quickly uh, okay so so basically the game was decided when black had those three uh, buttons in there uh, in uh, in which move uh, I'm not sure I, I think uh, Georg put the fourth and fifth move uh, otherwise if, if, if he didn't and he, he didn't he didn't yes uh, okay and now he chose white okay so it's interesting then i'm i'm afraid that uh, Georg just uh, didn't know the opening uh, good enough and mm -hmm. that's why after the fifth move it was already strong to defend he hoped that if he puts the sixth move here then sultan will maybe defend and he gets the stones uh, that he could defend but uh, sultan did it by it and uh, put this move that's already really strong and if you if you go to defend in this uh, this position then yeah there are already so many wins and uh, uh, talking didn't have anything really really to fight for mm -hmm. okay do we already have now the tournament winner after fifth round uh, what are the possibilities here uh, well Sultan is definitely in, uh, in uh, good shape, even if he loses the last round, he still uh, most probably... He has 10 points. Uh, okay, the, there will be... There might be others who have 10 points, but now the, the Buchholz uh, decides. Yeah, but his Buchholz right now is quite good, so... Mm-hmm, yes. With whom is he going to play? This uh, Vasil, or yes, most likely with yep. yes with uh, mm -hmm. maybe maybe with uh, Seat the Rangel because mm. he have played already with Lucas, so maybe. Well, let's see. Uh, and and uh, <laughs> why am I? Uh, concerned about it is because um, if there are two players with the same amount of points uh, at the end of tournament and the f in the first and second place they need to play an extra match in uh, in the game room uh, that's extra hustle I'm, I'm <laughs> hoping that uh, someone will uh, clearly uh, win and get the most points. Then we can maybe look at the game uh, Kuna and uh, Igor played because it should be also quite a high quality game. So this is an opening I think uh, Igor put because I know Kuna openings and it isn't the one he plays usually. Uh, so Kuna chose black moves. Uh, black pieces, I mean. And yeah, this is quite uh, quite uh, good for white, in my opinion. But somehow black managed to win, so let's see what happens. Okay, so black tries to keep his uh, tempo by, by attacking over here and maybe get some uh, pieces. Uh, uh, more into into the center that would help uh, help him to uh, defend. Yes. Okay. So he got some pieces uh, that would make it easier to uh, to defend. And right now, maybe it's quite even, like uh, even, maybe a little bit better because White has the. Uh, tempo right now. But 
Black plays well and White can't get real advantage over him. Interesting. Oh, oh, that's that's why <laughs> that's why black won because uh, white ran out, out of time. Okay, even the plus ten seconds didn't help. Well, the yeah maybe the position isn't even that easy for white because uh, black has some threats like uh, four mm -hmm. and then uh, four four times three over here so. Uh, Maybe uh, uh, isn't it already a win for black or white can defend here? Well, white can defend probably okay. over here. I think it's it's not winning. But yeah, maybe maybe he took some time to calculate uh, mm -hmm. what is his uh, best moves, and that's why uh, uh, forgot to uh, look time and, mm -hmm. and somehow lost the game. It happens. So. This round is still going. Let's see. We we cannot comment exactly on uh, th this game. Yes, but because uh, Dimo might be looking uh, at uh, YouTube. Yeah, but just <laughs> yes. just to see what's happening over here. I think I think the game is probably uh, probably already over. But aha, uh -huh. okay. But let's see. Let's see what uh, yeah white gave up. So why why he uh, why he gave up is that uh, right now black has his four, but he needs to defend. But uh, if if he defends, then here is uh, open three and here is open three. So mm. black will just put uh, four in a row and uh, white can't defend it uh, both sides. We can replay the, this game and see how how they got here. Yes, let's. let's uh, there's a link in the chat uh, also here somewhere. If you scroll up, yep. Yeah. So let's see. Dima put the opening. So this is the opening he chose. Uh, his opponent uh, took chose white. white yes. And that's how the game continued. I did. I think in the beginning the game is quite uh, even. Maybe even. I would prefer white, but not not, not by uh, a big margin. I think I think it's still quite even. So both both try to get some some kind of advantage, get the tempo uh, in their hands, but but maybe black uh, black played a little bit better. Yeah, maybe this move. Black's, uh, black's pieces seem to be like around the white. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's what I mean. That's how, like at the at the start of the game, you always try to you know s uh, surround uh, your op opponent pieces or or stones. But but uh, but this game, I think, yeah, Timo maybe did it a little bit better than than his opponents. So white. White still tries to, White still tries to defend, but somewhere I think something went wrong. I think it's, it's this position where it went wrong. Yes, because now I think White White thought that uh, he can attack, but he didn't see that if he plays this four, then this controls it. So if you play White, uh, if White plays four uh, diagonally, mm -hmm. then Black uh, defends here. And the problem for white is that uh, now white uh, needs to defend this four. Mm -hmm. So that's why that's why uh, white can't actually attack in this uh, this position. So yeah, white put here, but the problem is that now just Timo has this three times three, but you can't uh, defend. Uh, even the C seven move by White wouldn't have saved him. Yeah, if you if you put here, you make this uh, three over here, right? But still, Black can put here. Like if you if if you put here, 
you close this free, but this free is still uh, free. But uh, C7 here, uh, if you scroll back uh, back a couple of moves. Uh, mm. You mean? Instead of that, no, now uh, C7 by white. Uh, yeah, I believe this this would have helped. But okay. I think, but what I, what I think, what he didn't, but, but, or why he didn't play here, is the problem that he thought that this is also in. He thinks like this is free oh, and mm -hmm. this is free. Yes. But the problem over here is that now he can actually defend it. If uh, black puts here, white puts here, and this isn't this isn't actually a free yes. because yes. now if black black puts mm -hmm. here, white can put here, and uh, if uh, black puts here, white can put here. So I think this is what. The <laughs> uh, in Komoku terms, an open three is only the one that you can make an open four out of it. Yeah, something. open three is the is the three that you can make uh, open three, uh, open four. I mean. Mm -hmm. So. So the fifth round is ending, and there are still still uh, two games going. I guess uh, we will continue streaming until the first uh, games of the six rounds have ended. Until we know yeah, if we have a clear winner and... Uh, maybe, maybe we have missed some, maybe there are some more interesting games that we haven't looked. Maybe let's uh, look at uh, Zoltan's uh, all games, as he is the leader right now and maybe his games are the most important ones. So against Penta player, Penta player put the opening, Sultan. But this opening is mm. already like strong for black. Or I think so, yes, because mm. uh, the stones are quite uh, close to each other and uh, relatively, you know, in the middle. So that's why uh, black has like one stone advantage always. Mm. So yeah. White tried to make some uh, uh, attacking chances, but uh, Black, I think, just uh, saw that he can put more more aggressively. And after after this move, White doesn't actually have attack or or a way to attack. That's why White needed to defend. But yeah, now now the Black's position is very strong because. White doesn't have a real way to, you know, uh, make any attack. He needs to start defending, but Black at the same time has many ways to attack. Uh, like here, White needs to defend here, White needs to defend here, White needs to defend here, and he can't do this uh, this all uh, with uh, with one move. So White chose to defend over there, but now, yeah, this move is really strong and I, it's a beautiful move actually I, I really like it okay uh, what does it do the thing move? is that maybe some people think that now white can actually like attack over here because it seems like black doesn't have anything right mm -hmm. but the thing is that if black puts his next move here uh, he actually does have so what I mean by that is that uh, if if white puts here, black puts here, and now, for example, uh, white plays three over here, then black has a win with uh, with fours, one like here. Here are two stones. Mm -hmm. White needs to defend. Black puts here again. Four. White needs to defend, and black puts here diagonally yeah. and has uh, here is four, here mm -hmm. is three, and and white is uh, white is lost. So. Maybe it feels like it doesn't, like it doesn't attack, but actually it's a very good attacking move. So his opponent uh, saw that, that's why he defended. But now Black has so many, like Black has so much space over here, so he can really take the attack to the another level. And yeah, over here there are already many wins. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. But yeah, the attack was, attack was quite beautiful. And Sultan's last game against Maxim, who is right now uh, second place. 
So Sultan again put his uh, usual opening. I think. So Maxim thought it's quite. Oh, okay. So Maxim put uh, fourth and fifth move. He tried to neutralize the position that uh, that he that he would not uh, need that much uh, knowledge of the opening. But unfortunately for him, Sultan thought that it's it's quite good for White and probably probably it was again this we saw this same uh, mm -hmm. structure in uh, Sultan and uh, Topkin uh, game and we saw how strong it was so. I think this game is no exception and yeah that's yeah or so white white already won in the move so yeah again i think the biggest problem for uh, sultan's opponents right now is that sultan puts this uh, opening where you really need to know uh, your opening theory but if you don't you need to you need to uh, find this uh, fourth and fifth move in a very short uh, time control and if you're not able to do it then yeah this this is what happens sultan gets really strong uh, opening and it's hard for black to do anything after that okay, okay so ah the last round will the start last, in yes maybe you can see who Sultan is going to play and yep. you can see there is quite uh, quite a lot of talk going. The no one's lobby. pinging me or having any technical problems. I'm just checking. Yes. Seems seems that everything's working. Okay, so Sultan is playing in the last game against Vasil. To be honest. I'm I'm not really sure how good the player is, but yeah, but that's logical. I mean, uh, Sultan has played with the second, third, and fifth. So yeah, so yeah. That, that, that. yeah, and his opponent obviously has eight points, so he must be at least uh, quite good. Mm -hmm. He has played against Sea Terenju. Okay, he's he's a strong player. He has played against Kuno. We saw Kuno. Kuno is also quite good. Maybe maybe we can go and check. What is the style of uh, style of the uh, player? So again, I believe. Uh, okay, so this Kuna is put the opening. interesting. I, I haven't seen Kuno put this opening, so maybe this is some kind of uh, new uh, opening he has uh, learned. But to be honest, I think Black already got quite good position. And I think here already Black has already a win. Lost, yes. So how does that go? So over here, I think Black maybe ma made a little mistake. Maybe I would have played this free away, but he chose not to, which is also okay. So. Then he put here, and now Kuno played this free away, but I think it's quite, quite poor. Maybe, maybe not the best idea because after this, this free black got this uh, uh, stone, which is uh, quite good, uh, quite good attacking piece, mm -hmm. as we saw. And now, yet, yeah, why this? Like, I think Kuno thought that only way for black to attack is that. Now he puts here. Mm -hmm. So if he puts here, then yes, White can uh, defend over <coughs> here, and then maybe maybe the position isn't uh, that good. But Black uh, saw that if he puts over here, then he's controlling everything White has, and at the same time he is making free bears. Like free bears are always good, and he already has some stuff over here. So I think this is probably yeah. Un, uh, undefendable. So we had white right to play this free away, black close with history. But I already see how the how the 
how the white lost. So now mm -hmm. black played this away. Played another one away. And yeah, now this is here is three. Here is I mean here is four. Here is three. So it isn't uh, defendable with one move. And yeah, black black one. But yeah, I think the black played really well this game and Sultan definitely don't have an easy game right now. But <laughs> I see, I say this and I see he has already won. So let's see what what they did. The opening we have already seen. Yes. So maybe unfortunately for <laughs> his opponents, he had the chance to put the opening in the last game also and uh, oh so actually uh, Vastras chose not to put fourth and fifth move so he chose black immediately but I think this is some kind of scheme but the black player didn't know and yeah here is the game already taking quite sad turn for the white, uh, for the black player. Okay. So a tricky opening. You you really need to know. Yeah, you really how, need to how know how to balance it. Um, I think here is most likely only one good fourth move. There is most likely only one good fifth move after the best mm -hmm. fourth move, and uh, this is how the this is how the opening goes. And if you don't know this fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh move, if you make a mistake in uh, in uh, one of the moves the game is already over so yes so that's why i would say that uh, it is much better for uh, if you don't know the opening you should always put the fourth and fifth move because then there is e easier uh, or there is bigger chance that your opponent don't know the position that well and also uh, now if you put the fourth and fifth move your opponent can also make mistake but if you play the opening he already knows then well the only one who can make mistakes is basically you. So okay. yeah. Okay, we have a tournament winner then. Yeah, uh, I would say nice. Sultan was definitely the biggest candidate for the first place. He's mm. former former world champion and yeah, he uh, showed why he's so good. Why he's so good at the game. What about the other places? Ah, uh, Tokin has a chance to come at second place. Yeah, I think uh, most likely the winner of uh, Tokin and uh, Maxim game is the second place, and uh, the winner of Lukas and Theater is uh, third place. Okay. Because uh, as I saw, the, the Tokin and Maxim have better uh, pukals. Mm hmm. But maybe maybe we, we can watch it. Yeah, maybe we can watch it. We don't have to, you know. Yep. So I think uh, this opening I know. I think the first three moves were this one, this one, and this one. And uh, after that, I don't know what happened. <laughs> can, we, can we maybe check? Okay. Ah, I I dropped the moves and <laughs> notations from the game because I thought that no one is watching <laughs> those. But uh, you are the second uh, person in in two weeks who has shown interest. So may <laughs> maybe I, I should put them back uh, so that the uh, uh, watchers can like see how how the match got into that point. Okay, so basically, black is now saying black play very aggressively. So basically, I think uh, white now needs to show that uh, he has a win, or otherwise, uh, most likely white is going to win. I, so what I'm basically saying is that now is if if white has win, then white is one. If white doesn't have a win, then most likely black is one. Okay. So this is like. Kind of like a coin flipper. And and to be honest, right now I don't see that white has a win. 
Oh. He needs to show us. He needs to show us. Yeah, of course, this is this was the only way how white can uh, attack. But after this one, black shot, uh, shot it with this free, so white needed to block this free. So after that, white has had its own free, and yeah, this was the only move that doesn't lose like immediately. So black obviously played it quite fast. And now, what white does next? needs to show us so the time control actually six minutes is not like too fast but still you can maybe think as much as you would like Well, uh, time control in, in official tournaments in uh, World Cup is like 30 minutes or one hour or something. It, right now online it is uh, 30 minutes and something, but uh, actually in uh, live games it is, uh, in EU uh, Championship it is like one hour and 15 minutes or one hour and 20 minutes. And in uh, like uh, adult games or in like real uh, world championship is uh, is actually two hours and it, it was like three or four years ago in uh, in in the tournaments and in team uh, world championship it was like 215 so uh, how much time have you used in in those games well the, i would say the usual game lasts like uh, three three hours or 330 but of course, uh, there have been some games where I have used all the game and even the Fisher, what comes from every move, mm -hmm. 30 seconds. So I think my uh, longest game has been like uh, uh, four hours and 30 minutes, something like that. Okay. So we saw that uh, uh, Georg didn't see, uh, or Topkin didn't see a win. Uh, over here and try to go defend but now I think I think the position is uh, really are hard for him because black has mm -hmm. just so many things and yeah he, he he tries to make his attempts to close everything he can but I'm not sure he can actually do it I think the game game might end quite soon. But let's see how they will play. Uh, have others finished? Mm. Yep. Uh, no, the other game between Lucas and Seattle Angel is still going. Yep, yep, yep. <coughs> Maybe. Maybe Dokkin thinks so much because the position has... It's a difficult uh, position. <laughs> yes. Okay, so he played four away, he played another one away. He tries to do. So he tries to show that there isn't anything, but let's see if it's true. The end. Talking so that there is two, two. Uh, uh, to determine 
Blackwood free here. White needed to defend, and the next move would have been uh, here. Okay. So uh, let's maybe open the replay and okay. see w where was the black one. Yes. A win. So, yeah, what I said, the stones. But he played some interesting uh, fourth move. I haven't seen this. I think, I think he thought that Maxim most likely don't know it, but unfortunately for him. Yeah, so after this one, black put here, and now white saw that he doesn't have a win, so he put uh, here, tried to, oh, he put here, tried to defend. Uh, so the threat is that here is four mm -hmm. and three, so black needed to defend this. But unfortunately, after this move, after white put here, black put here. Here is no defense because why why white put the next move uh, uh, why why white put the next move here is that here is yeah. also a threat to win. Mm -hmm. But but now uh, let's see what black uh, has to do here to win. Um, so, so now black put here. White actually should have uh, closed it. Yeah. In G five. Yeah, G5, but the next move is going to be uh, okay. over here. So, so an open three. Oh, uh, ah. Open three here and four here. Okay, yes, of course. Hmm. So, yep. Tokin, uh, I think Tokin saw it already already here that he has no defense, but maybe try to, you know, make things a little bit harder or complicate mm. things, but didn't help. So, I think this is. Uh, this is game for the. This is game for the third place. The position seems quite, you know, even. So let's see what they are going to do. So black is attacking right now. So white white played this move over here, this four, just to get uh, the stones more like to surround black black uh, stones. Mm -hmm. Black is still trying to attack. Black is running out of time. Yes, using using his last seconds to to be sure that his attack leads to somewhere. Mm -hmm. Does it? I'm not sure yet. We will have to look and see. About a month ago, uh, I, I introduced the, the rule in the algorithm in Komoku that if there is no way for either of the players to win, it's like automatic draw. It, it was uh, still missing yeah. that people had to like fill all the board yeah. and they, it became a problem when you're like don't have additional seconds and then the time is running out. Yeah, I, have, I have played some uh, games in uh, Vint.e uh, where, where I, I have, I'm playing tournament, I have finished my game and then I'm going to see the last uh, game of the round and then I see how players are still making the... Uh, <laughs> Trying Un to, you know, uh, fill the table. Yes, unnecessary moves. Yes, yes. <laughs> but now it's, <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's working as expected. So I believe maybe Black is having some threats, but White is trying to defend. But Black doesn't see that there's a win, so he's going to going to defend also. So 
So I think this move is maybe the last move that White made is some, like it is a little bit attacking move, but also it is like defending move. You like defend this line and mm. this line over here, and at the same time you are making some lines. Mm -hmm. This is this is sometimes good to you know just uh, neutralize the position and. Both players are playing playing quite well. I don't see that they have made any mistakes. What is maybe what is maybe you know predicted from them because both are good players and no reason why they should make some easy mistakes. So I believe this is this is this is a game where we might see a draw. I think it is quite likely that. Hope my draw detection works now. Yeah. But of course, there is some chances that some of the players might run out of time or mm -hmm. miss something in in, in the end and. Game will still end by some uh, one of them winning. I'll quickly check the tournament table. Mm hmm. Yep, one of them. Even ah, even if they draw, then they both get nine points. But we don't know the bohols. Yeah, we can't calculate it by heart right now. And it's full truncated bohols. I implemented it a couple of weeks ago for the international draws tournaments. But uh, it actually works for other board games also. So, or uh, I don't know what's the most common coefficient used in, in range or Komoku tournaments? I, I think it uh, depends what uh, tournament organizers prefer. I think in... Uh, what do you prefer? I is think Bukols is fine. Okay. Or is it median Bukols or Bukols minus one or this full truncated Bukols? Uh, <laughs> different variations of it. I think one tournament... Uh, you yeah. just need to yeah. win and get yeah. points yes, and yes. Don't, I worry, don't really worry about yes, exactly. yes. Okay, nice. I agree. <laughs> so the both players definitely have some chances uh, some chances to win. But in the end I would still say that most likely it's going to be a draw. <laughs> yeah, this, this was the move, uh, but I was ex expecting actually uh, some... Uh, earlier. Yeah, earlier, yes. Okay. Because Right now, white is making like three pairs, or or not even three pairs, but one bear here, one bear here, and this is even better than bear. Mm -hmm. So seems quite strong to me. Something might come out of it. Exactly. Even I can see something. <laughs> but okay. Um, I don't see a win for either of them, but that's why you are here. Yeah. <laughs> so actually there was some uh, threats that uh, three here and four here, that's why black paid here. Mm -hmm. But now, exactly. I now black closed it and white paid three away. Now he played uh, four, mi four away, I mean black closed it. Now white put here what was like threat again, four over here and three over here. win 
I'm not sure about that. Oh. What happened? Actually, mm. uh, it was a white win. It was a white win yes. in the end, yes, because. Let's see. Let's see then how it actually ended. So, so you see, there has been many moves, but this place is still available. And now, finally, the game so what I don't understand is why he played uh, the black played here or oh no, no actually now I see it. I, I didn't first I didn't see that why why uh, black played here was that the threat is oh, over yeah. here uh, free and free yes so he needed this line to close this this free okay so that's that's why he played there but unfortunately for black, now is the problem that there is another way another way to win, yes, mm -hmm. because now uh, white has a 4, black needs to close, then white has a 4 over here, black needs to close mm -hmm. again, and now there is this 4 over here and this 3 over here. Yeah, 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 so yeah, okay. you can't again uh, close both the threads, so that's why. Black saw it and... Okay, nice. Let's see, uh, final standings. So actually I'm quite uh, surprised the uh, final standings, how they are. Uh, I know all the three players, of course Sultan wasn't a wasn't big surprise, but Maxim Medreveli second place and Seat Renju here, that's, I, I would say they're Maybe wasn't the main candidates for those places, but as, as we saw, they played really well, and nice. here they are. Okay, uh, let's uh, congratulate the winners and uh, close up for today, I guess. Yes. Thank you for watching. Um, you're welcome to to observe uh, our tomorrow's Otello tournament, uh, which is part of MSO. And of course, the ongoing uh, Komoku Junior World Cup tournament uh, starts tomorrow morning and then also the international draws tournaments. So uh, we will meet again. Uh, can't say exactly which day. You will be also commenting uh, something in near future. Uh, I'm I'm not one hundred percent sure, but okay. Let's, let's see. see. Thank you, yeah. and have a great evening.